Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to download and install Photon Shader for Minecraft Java. So let's get started. The first thing you gonna do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. What we wanna do here is simply go to your search bar and type in a website called Modwin. So simply type in Modwin in there and you should see modwinf.com. Simply click on Modwinf and now you're on the homepage for Modwinf. So simply go to the top of the website to discover content and go down to shaders. Then all you want to do is go and search shaders and type in photon shader. So photon shader like so. And here you should see photon shader. Simply click on the name and this will bring you to the page for photon shader on Modwinf. Now Simply go on versions and simply download the latest one here as it supports the most versions. So we'll simply click download and what you want to do now is simply download Ibis because you need Ibis or Optifine but we will be using Ibis to run Photon Shader. So the way you do this is simply by going to a new tab and going to your search bar and typing Ibis Minecraft or iris shaders. This will bring you over a website called irisshaders.dev. Simply click on the link and this will just bring you to this page. I will have this in the description if you're interested but all you want to do is simply go to download now and then you want to go on download universal jar. As this is a jar file you might need to go to a third tab if you don't have java already installed. This is called jdk23. And what you want to do is go on this website here, which I will have linked as well. And once you accept all, simply scroll down and you should see JDK23. Select Windows and download this middle option here, x64 installer. Once you did this, simply just close your web browser. And what you can do now is simply go to your downloads folder by going to your file explorer, like so. You might not see anything here because you might have a different download directory for these. But once you found your iris installer in Photon Shader, simply double click iris installer. This will bring you with this. Simply select the game version you want. I'm just going to choose the latest one and just do install. Now all you want to do is close the installer and open up the Minecraft launcher. You want to do this to, well, run iris and also add Photon Shader to the Shader Packs folder. So here we have Iris, so that means we now have a Shader Packs folder that we can access by going to our Installations tab, hovering over Iris, going to the folder icon. Then you want to go to Shader Packs, double click Shader Packs. Then you want to go to your Downloads folder. You want to select and copy Photon. You want to go to, back to your previous folder using the top left arrow and click Paste. So what we did here, we added Photon Shader in our .minecraft shader packs folder. Once you have everything sorted out, simply go to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure Iris and Sodium is selected, if it is, click play. So this will just download all the required files for Iris and once that's done, as we can see it's done, this will just boot up Minecraft, well in this case Minecraft 1.14, and we will be able to activate shaders. So here we have Iris here for 1.14. And we can go to a single player world, for example, a server or a realm. And all we need to do here is simply activate the shader if it's not activated already. So here we see that we don't have shaders and that's completely normal. All you want to do is simply go to escape, options, video settings. Here we have the sodium GUI. Simply go on shader packs, select photon, it will darken, click apply. And this will just activate the shader. There you go. And once the shader is activated, we can also go to shader pack settings where we added. And we can change some settings as well. So we can change ultra, low, and we can go deeper as well. So I'll just put ultra. Okay. And now we have photon shader. So yeah, it's an amazing looking shader. It is minimalistic but it really just brings life to the game, adds some shadows, realistic clouds, and overall it looks really nice. So yeah, that's how we get Photon Shader 
for Minecraft Java. So, if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!